Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome back again. Again, uh, it's good to see you here. Oh my goodness, the weather here outside is so cool and uh, yeah, very interesting. And we are here again, uh, heading to uh, Dubai, inshallah, from Addis Ababa. So I am a connected flight, as I said initially in the last uh, video. Yeah. So we came all the way from Abuja, and we are here to uh, connect our flight. Even though, uh, yeah, I missed uh, my my initial flight uh, to dubai which was the 8600 so uh actually uh there is another uh sh scheduled flight uh to dubai which which is this uh this one uh 8612 i i flown it uh last year which was the 8050 but uh today uh, for today's flight is going to be a uh, dreamliner uh precisely 787 uh 900 series so uh we are currently boarding here even though uh, the, the flight has been delayed yeah however this is because of the uh technical issue encountered in abuja uh and that's why this flight was was also delayed for dubai that's uh because of ours here if not uh i, I won't make it as well to uh get back to uae so but uh we thank god alhamdulillah everything is uh done successfully and we are here uh, again برحتكم وسلامتكم أعزائنا المسافرين الآن أنا حولت الطائرة الآن إلى دولة الإمارات نحن الآن في درن لانا إن شاء الله إن شاء الله السفر اليوم سيكون في الليل الطاق ساعة جيد إن شاء الله تمام uh, finally boarding completed and uh, the aircraft has started pushing back here as you can see the captain will be starting the engine soon. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's flight uh, will be 4 hours 10 minutes today, inshallah, and uh, we will be cruising uh, on the uh, altitude of uh, 39,000 feet, inshallah. So, so uh, we are finally uh, taxiing uh, to the runway, uh, as you can see, only the duck is already not. Specifically, I think that was the A350. We, we, uh, we, we bought it from Abuja over to which it was that which is uh, facing me here directly through the window. I'm so glad I could connect uh, my my flight uh, to final destination. Uh, thankfully, and also so we have we've got uh, so many passengers as well. We are from Abuja as well, connected to uh, several destinations. And I think by now almost everyone uh, has uh, boarded to their final destination, and we are here as well, heading to the runway, inshallah, to the one. As you can see here, this place uh, is gradually getting darker. So uh, I think also to this view outside will be dark as well. So uh, apologies for that. Yeah, but uh, I, for uh, UAE airport, Dubai especially, almost everywhere is uh, is, is is bright with lights. So uh, UAE, you know, UAE has uh, has got a unique strategy all the time. I think we are, we are already on the runway uh, about to take inshallah.
I said initially here the view outside uh, look back all this for that uh, we finally took off uh, from Addis Ababa World International Airport uh, yeah so uh, the, or the time here uh, is past 10 at, at night and uh, cruising uh, we are cruising at the altitude of uh, 13 and 13 feet so uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video as well I think almost everyone today will be sleeping throughout uh, but as night flight uh, is going to be interesting I love night, night flight which I, I said initially there uh, in my last videos especially for the international flight is interesting but uh, I, uh, one of the thing uh, I don't like with the Ethiopian uh, this, their services sometimes is delayed uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, excellent at all uh, especially when serving uh, the meals here they have they usually take a uh, long time before starving because sometimes what up the passengers will just get annoyed uh, before the meal served and here we, we are lucky here the meal has been served on time so uh, but the last flight from Abuja to uh, Addis Ababa uh, I think we almost spent uh, two hours and a half before the meal was, was, was served and for the Qatar Airways it's not like that at all like was the Emirates and all the airlines have flown in my life especially also I've flown the Saudi Arabia the, the photo is, is served instantly after takeoff. No delay is, is been done. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are finally in uh, the airspace as you can see here. But uh, we have it uh, set on the uh, device uh, airspace first. We came in through Oman, and so this is, I think, the, the final border here. Uh, I think uh, we are finally uh, in the final approach to the renew, even though uh, the, the, the outside view today is uh, done, so, uh, but still, I, I still confuse. Uh, here we go, uh, the plane is gradually descending, 61 to 100 knots, uh, clear for level. What is happening here? We just uh, make a go around here as you, as you notice the plane uh, is, uh, is inclining now, it's going up. Uh, probably I think uh, the, the airport here today is busy or maybe there's an aircraft uh, that hasn't been evacuated yet in the runway. Uh, one of these issues probably and I think we are going to make a go around. I think it's going to be for like 10 minutes uh, to get this set up. However, this is a rare situation, but uh, go around uh, normally happens, uh, probably once in a while, but uh, it's not common. This uh, sometimes is, it may be due to weather factor or the visibility is not good. But uh, when I think the airport today has the equipment uh, K3, caliber 3 or K3B, uh, I think the pilot can land in zero, zero visibility. That uh, equipment can uh, assist the pilot to land. In whatever condition, as you can see here on the map, uh, we uh, uh, make a turn here and we are again uh, heading for the final approach. So I think this once uh, happened to me as well uh, when I was uh, coming from Jeddah to uh, Dubai. I think we, that was 2017. It was the biggest aviation year in the UAE. The UAE space was uh, to, was there was a huge traffic in the UAE space uh, that year, and I think. So. We, we did the same thing but we didn't even get for the final approach directly we was we went for the go around so um, we are here again finally in the final approach are finally here go for the landing
I really loved uh, the sound of the Dreamliner, it's similar to the one of A350, but uh, there is a difference here. Here we land, uh, the today's landing was not bad, but uh, yeah, there's a little bumpy, but uh, good finally. سلامتكم أعزائنا المسافرين مرحبا بكم إلى دولة الإمارات الآن التحقيق مع الساعة الآن في الصباح الليل في الصباح في الليل الساعة الرابعة إن شاء الله كل شيء تمام شكرا لكم على حسن البطاقة Ladies and gentlemen we just landed here in Dubai and we are here again finally in the gate so thank you very much I'm so tired I need to sleep for like 8 hours to regain my energy so we are here in the gate uh, thank you very much uh, as you can see the weather outside i think it's it's a bit hazy uh, from all indications here but uh I, I the temperature here is around uh 24 degrees celsius uh, is quite correct uh, normal room temperature all right uh, ladies and gentlemen so we finally disembarked from the aircraft and uh, now getting out uh, through the boarding bridge and uh, I will get uh, go and get uh, my baggage here as you can see this side we've got a European airline here the triple seven 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 three hundred series on the left side here so the Ethiopian is, is, uh, is really uh, making profit here in Dubai airport it has uh, several flights at night uh, morning and in the evening as well yes One thing I love with Dubai Airport, the airport is so quiet despite the fact we've got many passengers coming in and also boarding in out. But uh, the airport is always quiet compared to many airports I, I pass through or also make a uh, deep transit. When you compare it to the Jeddah International Airport, Jeddah International Airport is also crowded and it's so noisy. It's not that, uh, that is not silent at all unlike here Dubai airport so Dubai here everything is in order I'm finally heading to, uh, to the baggage claim area and also uh, to make sure I, uh, I've gotten all my baggages and also I, I may probably enter the duty free because I can't miss the opportunity for that you can see here this is a work, work workway as well for, for the elevator it's, it's easier you may not uh, stress yourself uh, too much just keep working directly and we are here waiting for the train uh, to get to the terminal one uh, arrival section so we have to wait for the train here as well uh, but if the train will be arriving shortly inshallah Here we go finally, the train has arrived. We are finally in the Tunnel 1 uh, arrival section and yes, we are getting down here uh, to go to the baggage claim area. Finally done with the immigration site and also I'm here waiting for my baggage to arrive. Uh, uh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting here for several uh, minutes here. I don't know why it's is is delayed.
thankfully i've gotten all the luggages i'm uh i'm also here finally set to, to my uncle's house uh he's also a pilot he's flying uh emirates uh, 380 so uh yeah we landed here in dubai uh 4 a.m and now it's around uh, five past five here so yeah the weather here is good everything perfect so uh this is specifically uh terminal one here uh the dubai airport uh, has got uh three terminals terminal one of the three terminals uh but the terminal three is uh, mainly for emirates flights uh, interesting Here in Dubai, even the road system here is uh, is, is totally different. It's, it will it makes the the city looks uh, very beautiful. Talk, regardless, regardless of uh, of its uh, high rise building, so it's totally different here. The government uh, is, is really doing well. Uh, the government uh, has done great job, and the government is still uh, seeking for 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 more achievement for the country. Thank you very much. Uh, See you again in my next video.